Hi, Mena here, Customer Service Manager with ready to go Newsletters. In this video today, I'm going to show everyone who's transitioning from vertical response to active campaign how it all works. Now when you click on your newsletters, go to your email newsletters, it will launch active campaign. This is the dashboard. You don't need to do anything here at all. You're going to work on the menu across the top. Later on, you can come back to your dashboard and you'll be able to see some statistics there. But for right now, we just need to go in and look at your newsletters. Your lists have already been added for you. We brought all of your information over from Vertical Response. Your newsletters are now referred to as campaigns. So across the top menu bar, I clicked on campaign. So here are the newsletters. I'm going to go over here to the right hand side and I would recommend that you click the drop down here and make a copy of your newsletters. That way if anything goes wrong while you're working on it, you've got one to fall back on. The copies automatically go to the top. So now I'm going to just go over and click continue. This is a summary page. You don't need to do anything here. You'll get another summary page at the end after you have made all the edits and changes to your newsletter. So you're going to want to go right on into design. Now you're going to get a split screen and we want to get out of that so we're going to click the icon in the upper right hand corner switch to visual editor. That's going to take you into where you can begin making your edits to your newsletter. This is where you change the subject in Active Campaign. So you change your subject here and then click Save. It says it's coming from you here. And to edit this newsletter, you want to think of it in terms of rows. Instead of going in like, like we used to and just hit Delete, think of this in terms of a row. The article is in a row, the heading is in a row, there's a row for a blank space. So if I wanted to get rid of this entire article, I would highlight all of that. You can right click and go to row and delete the row here or the toolbars up here. You can add a row before, add a row after, or delete the row here. So I'll use delete the row and therefore there went the entire article, all three lines that went with it. The same thing holds true if you want to insert an article. So let's go down here to the bottom of this article and let's say we want to insert one of our own articles. So I'm going to insert a row after and I'm going to insert a second row after. That way I know I'm going to have an extra space in here. So that's kind of like a double space in my newsletters. All right, I'm going to go in here. Let's say this is the article that we want to use. And I'm going to use control C to copy that. And I'm going to use control V to paste it. But before you paste in here, it's just like when we have to click on paste from Word in vertical response. We still need to clear that formatting so we want to do paste as plain text. Paste as plain text and now when I go in I can control V. That's what I use to paste. And you'll also see that from now on your font will match the newsletter which is a great thing compared to vertical response. You'll just need to change your heading. So we're going to use Arial 14 bold and that's all there is to it. So now you've got your article, you can add your spaces. Again, anything that you want to add to the left column, you want to add images, just add a row anywhere you'd like to add it. And you can add a row before or after. So let's go ahead and add a row after. So I've got a row here. So let's say we want to add our images now. I'm going to add an image into that row. I'm going to click on the little tree here that says insert or edit an image. You're going to browse out. This will open the image manager which is, of course was similar to the library in vertical response. And you're going to add a new image. Browse out to your computer and get it. And then it will put it in here. So I can click choose and it shows your image here 
and appearance. And for the left margin, if some of you didn't know, it needs to be 170 if you're going to put it on the left margin. And as long as that checkbox keeps the check in it, it will automatically change the size proportionally in height. And click insert, and there it is. So now you can just hit enter and you can type just as always. So just to recap, you can right click and go to rows and you won't do anything with tables, only with rows or use the icons here. Add a row after, add a row before or delete a row. At this point, you can save and exit and come back to it another day or you can click next. You can also send yourself tests very easily. However, the system does not want to send a test to the email that is associated with your newsletter. So try to use a secondary email for sending any tests to yourself. Now I'm going to click Next. This is a second summary page that you'll get where you can check out everything. Make sure that you didn't forget to change your subject. You can see which list your list is going to. All of this has been preset for you. This is where you can schedule it for a future day and time. Send another test. Send now. Or the desktop preview is like going into quick preview in vertical response where you can look at it exactly how it would look in the HTML format. I'm going to show you one more tip. I'm going to save and exit go back to the newsletters page campaigns and let's say we wanted to change the name of this in here it's a little different you're going to go ahead and click continue and you're going to select type this is where you can change the name that only you see inside your newsletter so if I want to put Mena here and click next and then save and exit then I've renamed my newsletter. If campaign has a great reporting feature, click on reports. You can now see real time who's opening it, who's unsubscribing. You can see who clicked on what. You can even see what they used to read the newsletter with iPod, iPad. It's a great reporting feature. I hope all of this helps in your transitioning to active campaign please give me a call at 1-877-976-6368, and I'm option two, if I can be of any assistance at all. Thank you. Have a great day.